Yo, what's up guys? Coming at you with an Angel 20 video. Coming at you with his team of the year. Really worth it. The reason why you guys probably clear in this video. So make sure to stay tuned. So getting into it, I saw a lot of people hating and dissing on the event. A lot of memes coming out about it. But uh, I don't think it's a bad event. But I just, I just think like it's a huge, huge risk for EA to be doing because um you know last year in NHL 19 it was just like team of the year came out all these new players came in and the game just died in like two weeks and it was done because like usually when team of the year comes out you know NHL game usually dies off but so I think EA is trying to drag out the event a bit so the new players come into the game and uh supposed to the team of the year just releasing just like just like one shot and you know two weeks pass you get all you know you get all these team of the week players team of the week team of the year players and the game just dies off in two weeks okay now i'm going to be getting into um what's what's happening with this with the team of the year team so um uh, Kucherov, so it's like, it's like different positions, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be making a, uh, predictions video, come, that's gonna be coming out soon, but, so it's Kucherov, Kucherov and Pasternak, both, you know, both right wings, obviously, but, so, it's because, so, Kucherov is 87 overall, and Pasternak is 83 overall, so if you do, let's, uh, okay, so let's look at the sets right now, it's gonna it's gonna cost more collectibles for Kucherov than Pasternak because Kucherov is obviously a higher overall rated card than Pasternak. Um, but looking at the sets here, the sets are not worth it to be honest. Thirteen gold, thirteen gold collectibles is not worth it at all because I don't. These players are not. You're basically taking a gamble if you do get one of these players and you're holding on to them. Because EA could do anything, they could do anything with it. You know, Big David should be obviously be getting it, be getting one. But you know, they they could have it that he's not getting one, and and you're holding on to him, and, and he's gonna end up at 87. Like he's not gonna get that upgrade. So if say if you pull pass knock and you and you're waiting on EA to give you that pass knock card, he would only end up at 91. So it's it's not like a huge. It's a, you could be, it's a huge gamble, it's a huge gamble with this event, and I would, I would actually just recommend if you do pull one of these cards, you sell them right away. So let's go take a look at the auction and see how much these team of the year cards are selling for, because honestly I would recommend just selling them, you know, make, make a quick 100k from it, not a, like 200k, 100k is actually too low. But, uh, yeah, where are they here? Ah, oh, here it is. So here they are. So a bunch of them, a bunch of different prizes. Nathan McKinney almost going for 700k. That's, that's way too much. Don't, they don't even, that's, that's insane. That's an insane, insane amount. But if you guys, you know, okay, but if you guys do want to be invested in this event, then I would recommend just going out and buying someone cheap and taking a gamble and maybe they get, maybe they get the team of the year card. Yeah, like, maybe they get the upgrade. So I would, I would recommend, I, I would not spend, Johnny Gaudreau is actually pretty good. Not a bit lower for 300k, which is not bad. You could take a gamble on price maybe. And I don't, I don't think he's gonna get it though. I think um, um, Biddington, he's gonna get it for sure. He's been playing absolutely insane this year. Like it, he could even try with Kapanen, but they're all just going for too much. Like I would not recommend buying one. You want to take part? Then I would recommend just going, buying one of the cheap ones, or holding on to it, and you and you could just wait and see. But it's once again, it's a huge gamble. So look at the packs now. All the packs were worth it. Well, I guess kind of because I, I I obviously um last video I obviously I got three of the packs and I basically made my made like the of the value back from them. So they're not that bad. And, and let's say you you do pull eighty seven overall McDavid. 
I would, I would honestly, I would honestly hold on to him. And you know, it's a win-win, especially if you're free, to, if you're a free-to-play player. And I would not, I would recommend doing these with, um, with coins too, not points, because you're basically making back your coins. There's, you know, obviously with the two gold players, you're obviously making back a profit there. They go for 900 coins each, so it's not like a huge waste. And and I guess the probabilities are kind of good. Like it's it's iffy, it's iffy. But like again, if you're free to pull a player and you do pull like someone like McDavid, like that's that's a huge win for you. So you could um for the green one, you could uh, get it one one per week. The blue one, you get five um five times per day, and the red one, you could get two um per 24 hours. So honestly, you could even do the blue one five times per day. And it's like not even you could be making your profit back from it, and and you never know you could even maybe pull someone like McDavid, that would be like insane. And and do it with coins, do not do it with points. So yeah, the packs I guess the packs are kind of worth it, um, yeah, because you're basically making back your profit. And again, you could pull someone like McDavid, and um, you could obviously he could obviously be getting the upgrade. So is this team of the year? really worth it I would say no I would say no just because EA is it's kind of risky this event is very risky y you could pull McKinnon putting McKinnon as a team of the year card and you know you're stuck with an 86 overall it's a it's a huge risk it's a gamble but I think you could come out of it with like um, you know 95 overall McDavid or whatever you know something like that if they if they do upgrade it to that extent. But it's a huge gamble, and I don't think it's worth it. But I think EA is just trying to they're just trying to take a risk with this event. They're not trying to release the team of the year, and then it dies in like two weeks because your team's 90, 99 overall and no one wants to play anymore. I think it's a huge gamble and it's a bit too it's a bit too much of a risk but um yeah I do yeah the event I don't think the event's worth it to be honest but yeah once again if you guys do want to be invested in this event I would recommend just going out there buying trying to buy a cheap one and just and just waiting it waiting it out and seeing if they do give the upgrade to the card or if you do if you are you know if you do pack a McKinnon just sell them. Just honestly sell them. You make the you know make the coins off of them. Pretty decent coins, you know. You saw that one guy selling them for like 700k. I don't know anyone who would buy it. Buy it, but like that's insane. I think that's gonna do it for the video. Thanks for watching video one. And if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to join the chill vibe. Make sure to follow my Instagram, NHL20 Vibes. Always posting all kinds of stuff on there. Make sure to ring the bell to be notified for every time I upload an NHL20 video. And it was signing in, and I'll have another video. Peace.